So what we can do now is create a navigation bar. So this is kind of like the menu that you see on any other website. Um, to do this, we're going to be doing it in a few steps. Okay. Um, the first step is to create um, this kind of navigation bar. Um, and this is going to be using some HTML you've probably never seen before. Okay. So we're going to have a, a header. Okay. So header you can think of uh, as kind of the header of the website where the menu is and the title is and all that kind of lovely stuff. Um, divs is short for a divider. Um, and uh, divs are very common to kind of lay things out in a uh, website and to apply specific styles to it. Uh, this is going to be your heading effectively. So this is going to be like your title or logo or whatever you want to call it. Then we've got the nav bar itself. Okay, nav still short for navigation. And I'm closing that. And then I've got a list. Okay, and this seem, might seem a bit odd, but this is how most navigation bars are done nowadays. So I've got an unordered list and I've got a list item. And in the list item, I have got a hyperlink, which we'll uh, edit in a moment. Um, and I've got my second one. So they've got the homepage link and I've got my info link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow the code that I've already done down here, the href. And I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to paste it here for the homepage. And then I'm going to do the same for this one. And if you remember when we did this, we had the link to second page. So I'm going to just borrow that code as well. I'm going to paste that in there. Um, and then I'm just going to get rid of this link here because it's no longer needed. So I'm going to save that. And let's let's see what this looks like. Okay. So when I run it, so I'm just going to get my page back into the, the screen so you can see it. Okay. So I'm going to run this one. So you can see it says my website. And then I've got my two links. I click on home. It takes me to here. And I click on info, it takes me straight back to the same page, okay? Which is fine, um, that's what we want to do for now. Um, so the next thing is, well, I want this to appear on the other page as well, my home page. Now, the most obvious way to do it uh, is to literally take this, copy it, go to here, and paste it. That's the obvious thing to do, isn't it? However, that's not a great way to do it. So what if I want to change, um, I don't know, uh, add a few more links to this, um, and I had 10 pages? Well, I'm going to have to do that 10 times, aren't I? So we're going to create a template. So I'm going to create a new file, and I'm going to call this, um, let's call it main template. So I'm going to put it into the templates folder. I'm going to call this main template.html. And what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to take all that code and paste it in. But now I'm going to take out all this middle bit. So I'm left with just simply the heading and the HTML body stuff. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tell Flask that what comes here is going to be dependent on what page we're on. Okay, It's called a block. So I'm just going to steal the code from another uh, one that I've done before, just so I don't have to type it out, so I don't make a mistake. So we've got this block content and end block. So what this basically is saying is this is going to be replaced with something else. Okay, so this is going to be replaced with uh, content from another page. So I'm going to save that. Then I'm going to go to my home page. And I'm going to do the opposite now. I'm going to delete all the other stuff. And I'm just leaving it with the content of my home page. I'm just going to kind of tap that in so it's like that. So now my home page has got next to nothing in it. But I want um, Flask to include this main template. And what I want it to do is to take this code here and basically replace this with that code from the home page. So to do that, and again, I'm just going to uh, borrow code from a, another thing. I'm going to take this, oops, uh, take this and paste it here. So here I've got again uh, a kind of command for Flask. And it says extends main template, i.e., extends this. So that tells Flask to use this for uh, the bulk of it. And then we've got to tell Flask, well, what is the block going to be? Well, the block is going to be this, and also we need to end it. I'm fairly certain it's end block, but I'm just going to copy it from my 
ex uh, example already. So here I've got my in block. So I've got my extends main template, my block content, all the stuff that I want in it, and my in block. I'm going to take this code again to my second page. Uh, and again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to delete all this, paste that in, delete this end bit. Um, and just I'm going to just tidy this up a little bit. There we go. And I want the end block stuff here. So my page has now become a lot simpler. We're going to effectively include or extend this main template. And depending on which page you're extending it, we'll replace this block content. So um, the second page is going to use this as the block content. And the home page is going to use this as the block content. So let's save that. And fingers crossed this works uh, first time. So I'm just going to refresh the page. And there we go. You can see I've got my navigation bar. I go to the info page and I can flip between them. This has the advantage that if I want to add something else to my main template, so I don't know, let's say I want to uh, enter this weird paragraph saying boo. Okay, I know it's a bit weird, but there you go. Uh, I refresh the page and you can see my home page has boo in it and my info page also has boo. So I've made one change to the template and it's changed both my pages. That's how we can create um, a navigation bar, uh, which uh, we can edit really, really easily, and it will impact and be used across every single page in our site. So that's how we use templates.